Are you trying to figure out how to get your own Celestial Pulse merch? Do not fret longer. Type in redbubble.com slash people slash Vesanian Designs. And there you can have all the shirts that I produce. <laughs> um, you can go ahead and get tote bags and everything else. So for more information, you can um, click the link down below and figure out which shirt you want or, you know, tote bag, case, whatever you want. Hey guys, this is Vess and welcome back to a how to digitally. This time I'm going to teach you how to make your pattern. So I'm going to do it in two different ways so that you guys can figure out, you know, which way it works best for you. Uh, I'm currently working on Clip Studio and um, mine is the Clip Studio Paint EX. Um, a lot of people work with Photoshop and other people work with other things. So I'm going to teach you two ways so that if you are working on Photoshop, you can just, you know, do this quick little thing and it'll help you. Um, but right now I'm going to teach you the clip studio way. So this is the clip studio way. Um, what you want to do is you want to have your, um, you want to have your pattern, the, the little square that you made of your pattern. You want to have that as a PNG. And the reason why you want to have that as a PNG is because if I open up my layers, if my layers want to be open, it seems like they don't. So yeah. Okay. You can see that my layer is uniform is in one solid thing. And um, what I did was I exported it. So if you're on Clip Studio, all you gotta do is go to File, go to Export Single Layer, and there you have your options. Uh, PNG is one because you wanna have a transparent background. So that's why I did PNG. Um, so yeah, you have your square with your um, PNG. And what you wanna do is, for this, you want to go to, um, for your Clip Studio, so that you can have it as a pattern, you wanna go to Edit. When you go to edit, there's this thing called register material right here. So what you want to do is you want to add an image. And when you add that image, something's going to pop up and it's going to give you more information. So when that thing pops up, it's going to tell you your material name. I'm going to name this Fuji Pattern Chibi because that's what it is. And what you want to do is scale up and down, meaning that if you do scale up and down, what it does is it adds more to um, the pattern so that is no stretching or um, making the image look not good as deformed. Um, then you want to do is you want to add the tiling. So this is the tiling. Um, you have a whole bunch of options. We got repeat, we have reverse, and we have flip. So for repeat, it just um, repeats the image. For reverse, it flips the image as it comes out. So it's like it's the image, then it flips the image, then it flips the image back. So it's like a whole bunch of flipping. Then you have, um, you know, flipped image, meaning that you flip the image and it just turns into a pattern like that. So what I will prefer is um, just repeat the image just to keep it nice and simple, keep it clean cut and whatever you need to do. Um, there's other options for tiling. You can do vertical and horizontal, which gives you a broader, when you scale up and down, it gives it more broadness and you don't have to worry about if it's in a strip or not. Um, they have horizontal, which is just a strip, a horizontal strip of, you know, your pattern. Then they have um, vertical and that's just a vertical strip of your pattern. So um, for this one, I will just go with vertical and horizontal. Um, after that, you want to just specify your layer, your overlay. So, you know, it has, um, it just has what it is. Um, for this, I will just say it's, um, is is a it's not an effect or a sound or anything like that. It's just um it's just a regular little thing. So I just click it to click it. Um, I think it helps with what you want to do with it. Um, after that, you want to go to your color pattern. You click that. You go down to your patterns. You click your patterns, and um, I will consider this as other because this is not a clothing pattern. This is not any other pattern but what it is. Um, so I, I usually put in other. Um, I press OK. And boom, it's supposed to be done. So what you want to do is you want to open up a new file. So your file could be whatever it is. Um, I just want to give you an example of what it will look like. So I'm going to just open up this file. And then after that, what you want to do is go to over here. So um, I have two chibi ones. And the reason why I have two is because I did this once. And, you know, the air was making too much noise. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to plug in your chibi out, you know, your chibi pattern and you can sh make it tinier if you want to. 
So when you make it tinier, you can see that there was no like crazy stretching or anything like that. What it did was add more tiles so that um, it becomes more like a pattern. It, it you know, you could do this as a wallpaper, anything you want, um, even wrapping paper. So that's one way of doing it. Now, another way of doing it is you want to make a new file. Um, it doesn't really matter what size you want as you can make it a really big file. Like mine is a B5 size for a uh, manga studio that is, um, 257 width, um, millimeters and for the height is 182. So that's what you can do for that. And then, a, um, 600 DPI, um, you don't have to use 600 DPI. You can use 300 and that works great for printing. And especially if you want your prints to be nice and crisp. Um, so what you do is you grab your Fuji, Fuji pattern or you grab your pattern um, that you made. So that's control A, control C. So that's copying it. Um, control A is selection. Control C is copy. Um, control plus A is, is um, selecting and control plus C is copying. I'm sorry. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to control V. So that's control plus V and that's what's going to, um, paste. So what you do is you control plus T, which is transform and you, um, make it smaller. So I will say like halfway. So the reason why I say halfway is because there's this little, oh, there's this little mark right here. There's like a little slit right here. And um, that makes me know my halfway part. Um, here is another slit. Um, if you want to be real technical, you can do that. You could just have it as that slit. Um, so after that's done, you want to hit enter because that's going to say, hey, I finished my transforming. So um, if when you upscaling and downscaling, and you're using Photoshop, hold shift that keeps the um, proportions correctly. Um, if it does it by itself, then it does it by itself and you're fine. Like I know my clip studio does it by itself and I have an option to have it um, disordered if I want it disordered. So after you're done with that, you want to copy and paste. So that's control plus C, which is copy control plus V, which is paste. And then you want to go diagonal. So you want to grab your, um, you want to grab that paste and just go diagonal just like so. And then, um, I like to just keep it like right there on that, um, that line. So that is just perfectly done on that line. And then after that, you're going to, hold on, I'm trying to fit it properly. After that, you're going to hit nothing, but enter if you, you know, transformed it or anything, um, then to merge it, you just want to take those two and merge it like, so I think the merge button is over here. It's something with a merge. <laughs> um, after you merge it, what you want to do is you want to control C, which is copy control plus V, which is paste and go to the side. And there you go. You have, um, you know, a little bit of difference to it. So you might have to play with it a little bit because it tends to get a little wacky after a while. So, you know, it'll go up and it'll go down and it's good that it goes up and down because it makes it different. It makes it, you know, out of place so that it's not fully uniformed. It's supposed to be a, this is supposed to be a pattern is not supposed to be anything else but that. Um, so again, you control C control V and you place another one right over here like so. And you can see that it's slowly going upwards. Like you can see it has like a little slight to it, a uh, slant to it. I mean, and that's all good because you want to make sure it's a pattern. It's not anything crazy. And then you want to control C control V again and you want to bring that downward. So bring that straight up downward like so. And if you have like those little pieces that's just hanging out, like you see how you can see the top of Fuji's head and you can't see nothing down here, you can just control C, control V again and just place that bottom piece just like that. So it can match up 
with what you're doing and you could do the same thing on the other side but this is basically the gist of it so um that's how you do it by yourself and then this one is how you do it through clip studio i feel like clip studio um places everything well but not too well because if you go to you know this part you can see that um right here fuji's feet almost touch her head and that's what i don't like that's why um doing it the other way i prefer because not only does her feet not touch the head but it goes upward in a way and it feels more it feels more better it feels more unique like organic it's not too um it's not too focused on just being that you know so yeah those are the two ways um if you um have any questions on anything of this sort or that's how you did that let me know in the comments below and i'll definitely get back to you on that so yes guys um if you like this video hit that like and if you're new here and you're like hey Vess, i like what you did um go ahead and hit that subscribe and become a post become one of our family members um we do a lot of stuff here with helping and doing everything else <laughs> um again guys i stream fridays at seven o'clock at um standard eastern time um that's every Fridays. So yeah, you could definitely talk to me there. Um, again, thank you for watching, sharing, telling a friend and helping a friend. Have an amazing rest of the day. Bye bye.